Hey everyone, John Henry from School of Trade. Today we're going to be taking a look at a gold long setup back up to the upside here. Uh, taking three long at 1172.9. My maximum stop that I'm going to give it is back to 1170. I don't want to see it go any farther than that 1170 point. Uh, and then looking for the upside target, first off, looking to take a little bit off at 77.7. Uh, we're taking a good chunk of the profit off there. And then primarily we have a couple different options here. We can look for a little bit of a larger target, uh, just looking for a break of the highs, or you could just take everything off at 77.7. It, it becomes kind of personal choice, uh, but for me, I really want to see them get back up to these highs here and look for a new high of day. So I'm looking to take profit at 78.6 on that final portion there back up. Now, as we start seeing the market go back in our direction again, we're going to be looking for uh, opportunities to lock our stop in tighter. I don't like having this large of a stop. Uh, but it's an initial size stop waiting for a little bit more information. And as we get that more information, we can lock our stop in a little bit tighter where it makes more sense. So far, gold has been relatively range bound in a way. We started the morning off uh, the Globex session pretty range bound. The range broke down ended up in another range, fake breaks a low, shoots right back up through the highs, and now we're starting to see quite a bit of aggressiveness back up again. And it's anticipated that, hey, we're probably just going to be a range, right? So if we're going to be a range, we're looking to buy the lows of the range and push it back up to the highs. More importantly, though, the excess information that we have right here is the news came out at 8.30. So we had this gigantic news spike to the upside. And if you miss that initial move, they're now pulling back into that area where they deemed a fair price after the news. So this is a really big buying opportunity that we can look to lock in a push right back up again, back up to the highs, knowing that the buyers are going to want to defend this 72.9 area. So we're in long three contracts at 72.9, looking back up to the highs, taking the first two contracts off back up near the high front running it a little bit here at 77.7. That's 48 ticks looking for the final portion all the way back up to just below the high of day for 57 more. So if we can hit all of these, we're going to be looking for one off at 57 and two off at 48 for 153 ticks right back up to the upside. Now, this is the type of trade that it can take hours before you actually see this complete. So we'll give it a little bit of time here, probably a lot of bit of time, and we'll see if we can get that first target at 77.7. All right, seeing some pretty solid continuing buying pressure here, pulling into our first target at 77.7. Definitely in a nice position here. And based on this, I really don't want to see us come back any farther below this area here. We had a nice little snap pullback here down to uh, 75 or so, and then it shot right back up again. I don't want to see us get anywhere even outside of that area. So we're looking for some relatively strong upward pressure here uh, back up to the upside. And I don't want to see any type of give back underneath this 75 area. So we've got a decent chunk of profit locked in so far. Looking for that first target up at 77.7. There was a weird little pop right there. Uh, didn't get a fill. Okay. I mean, it shows the wick went through, but I mean, either way, we're still looking for this to go back up to the highs. I'm not sure what that little bit was about. It looks like a little graphical glitch, um, but we're testing our first target here. And then we got it filled. So we got the target filled. We can reduce our stop down to one. And now we're looking for a little bit more continuation back up to the upside to break that high of day. Again, the break of the high of days at 78.7. I'm locking in at 78.6 just to get in ahead of it. And our stop is locked in a nice area too, 74.7. Shouldn't see that low given back anything at all, and we might get our target right here at uh, 78.6. So we're looking for a little more continuation, get that final target at 57 ticks, and eh, it looks like it's slowing down. We'll give it a little bit of time here, and we'll see if we can get that final target. All right, we're coming back up to the highs again. They took a little bit of a break earlier here at around 10.55. We're going on uh, 11.35 now, looking back for another push above these highs. It wouldn't surprise me to see a little bit of a stop run above this 78.2. Any sellers that were trying to get into this move, their stops are going to be above these highs. And that's kind of what I'm looking to play here. It's just a stop run back up to the high to get that 78.6 fill. Because we're getting so close, I don't want to give any of this back, so we'll lock our stop in a little bit tighter. 
Uh, and we did come one tick away. So because we came one tick away, we're going to get really aggressive and get our stop in at 77.1. I'm still looking for that stop run above 78.2. It doesn't look like we triggered it. We got above it, but there wasn't really much of a pop. Uh, so I would guess that we haven't hit those stops yet. Looking for a quick pop above, and that should get our target filled at 78.6. And then from there, the marking can do whatever it wants. We got our target filled, right? So we got our target filled at 78.6. Nice little stop run at the highs there. And we got that final little portion. So 153 ticks. Definitely had to sit in this one for a while. We got long at 10.05. Didn't get that final portion until going on 1135 now here. And uh, well, now. So this, again, is one of those types of trades that can take a little bit of time. But when you're in the right side of a trade, there's no reason to get out. Let it go to your final targets and get those things filled. And that locked in 1,530 for us on three contracts. Definitely not bad. So that's going to do it. If you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade. Don't forget to check out our trial at schooltotrade.com. And as always, we'll catch you next time.